Thank you, Sarah. We're set for round two of the Atlantic 10 tournament for the nation's capital. George Washington and Massachusetts are up next in the bracket. Fordham and St. Louis already advanced earlier today. Here is what is at stake in this game. The winner gets a shot at the two seed Dayton Flyers tomorrow night, 6 p.m. That's on USA. Dayton fresh off a tough win over Davidson to finish up the year. So a challenge awaits whoever can pull off the win here tonight. Can score from anywhere. He said it's all about attack. When he thinks about his game, he's always playing downhill, and Buttrick lines up a three. Yeah, Buttrick, we expect that we'll be calling Buttrick's name quite a bit here. The grad student from Penn State. See if UMass wants to run with it. UMass is going to try a three and line it up a beautiful three as TJ Weeks Jr. Is George Washington want to attack you offensively? I think that they're going to try to go inside and really be physical, and that's the way to get to the rim. And they've got players that can really shake and bake and take you off the bounce. So UMass offense going to go through Fernandes and Kelly. And also, so far, a whole bunch of it's been going through weeks. It's your job. I mean, this is their livelihood. But what a great attitude. He said he wanted to stay. Obviously, finish out the season. These guys are playing for him and reading the defense and making others better as we see another one go down from distance. For UMass, they're just getting it up and going, Jack. They were going to come into this tournament looking for a fight. Now Bamazo attacks the lane. The other way for George Washington. Already five turnovers now for George Washington. Into the lane and getting the roll. Nice take there by Garcia. Works his way in the lane over to the Fernandes and Buttrick, who's dangerous from everywhere, likes the three ball and Buttrick Lines up a three and puts it right on target. Ricky back to Freeman. He'll go right into the lane. Drops one back to Bishop. And Bishop for three. Yeah, great job in transition. And now you get a good look. Here's Lindo for three. Kelly to Garcia. And the foul. Wow. Opening things up off the bounce. Now Freeman operating off one foot, falling away, and gets the drop off the rim. Shimmy. Fourth and back out to Fernandes. Fernandes crossover, three. Pure looking shot, Fernandes. Pretty. At that attack mindset that he was saying as we were talking to him. He didn't say a whole lot during that conversation. Another three from Weeks. This game is exploding here by UMass. Fernandes had it stolen. Fernandes with the steal, now Garcia with the finger roll. Well, well that was an awesome opportunity. Amazil <laughs> rises down the baseline. Feels like a basketball town everywhere you walk around here. You see somebody rocking A-10 gear, and Bishop, that is the start they needed to this second half. I believe these first couple minutes are really pivotal to set the tone. Here's Fernandes who will quiet down some of this momentum. He gets let loose. He, he, we've seen him get hot. Freeman continues a brilliant game he's putting together. Now Bishop wants to reset. Bishop to Dean, Dean to Lindo, and Lindo slams one down. He had to come back at times. Here's Kelly down the baseline. Good move by Kelly. Now Lindo, he's going to line one up. Three-pointer on the way, and that is pulverizing right there. High-character guys. They hung 91 on St. Louis this year, so this team can play. It's just they've got to continue to play unselfishly at a high-level effort like that. To Kelly, that was such an amazing sequence by Fernandes. The hustle to first save the basketball, to come back, get the steal, and then to set up Kelly for the easy two and run a little of this shot clock. Kelly driving to the basket and one. Nice ball handling by Kelly. Then a three pointer at the end of it. So Coach McCall having the same conversation you are as Fernandes. Ball don't lie. Look at Fernandes. That defense has been overwhelming in the offense to 27 points now. Why not go right back to Bamazo in that spot? He cannot be stopped right there. Bamazo 
Weeks Hill. He can't miss. T.J. Weeks is just eating this clock on George Washington. Now Fernandes, Fernandes fade away. George Washington quickly shot from Adams. 22 now, 13 point UMass lead. Patrick, he wants it at 15. Locked away by Bamas Hill, who has had no quit inside of him. Now running the court is Samuels for the dunk. With COVID, with players trying to decide to come to your schools, they sometimes have to decide it without even having been on campus. And just the stoppages and you name it. There's he's, another he's bucket. He's got to be happy though right now. Bamazil continuing to fight, but it's been all UMass for Nandy's. His 29 points as both the coaches get together and share a message.